Hello and welcome to my Pokemon Nuzlocke run. Now, all of the rules for Nuzlocke run will be in the description, so I'm not explaining them. Uh, besides, you find if you do this kind of thing, you end up wasting a lot of the start of a Nuzlocke run due to the fact that you have to explain it. Uh, no, we're not going to listen to all this. Right, now, you may notice, you won't notice yet, uh, but uh, wh what's happening is this. Me, Carbon Hunter, and Gaz, Black Sagaris, will be, uh, oh balls, will be doing these Nuzlocke runs together. Not together, sort of like against each other. Oh, for the love of... Yeah. So, I'm Carbon Hunter, so I'm going to be putting Carbon... He's Black Sagaris, so he'll be put in Sagaris, or actually he might be Gaz, I don't know, it's up to him. Uh, first rule that's between the two of us is that our rivals will be named uh, equivalent to the person we're playing with. So I'm calling my rival Sagaris. Right. Now, we don't care about all this. We all, we all know it. Uh, Right, first things first, uh, the Pokemon we have to choose has already been decided. It got decided by my fiance, um, by, uh, at, at random. We had six pieces of paper, three with the Pokemon on, three with our names, and so two, two names and a blank one. And, uh, yeah. So, Squirtle went to nobody, that was the first one, so I immediately lost the one that I wanted to have. And, uh... The next one was Charmander, and it went to me. So, I have to choose Charmander. The lizard Pokemon. Obviously prefers hot places when it rains. Steam is said to spout from the tip of its tail. So if you don't know what a Nuzlocke run is, have a look at the description. <coughs> and it's all there. Obviously this is Pokemon Red, which will obviously be in the title. Obviously, 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 obviously. Uh, do you want to give the nickname to Charmander? Yes, yes I do. What to call him? Um. Oh, I know. We're gonna call him Klaus with a K, because otherwise it's claws. Yeah, no one actually cares. Okay, now this is the first battle with that absolute wet fish of a man. Black Sagaris. I'm going to do my best not to swear during this. I'll probably fail miserably. I think I've said balls already. And again. So here we go. Go, Claws. Ah, critted. Well, this is going well so far. I had a practice run of this Nuzlocke run. Uh, myself, just to get everything tested. You know, I got to Cerulean City. And lost every Pokemon except my starter. Which was fun. I'll do one more. Obviously, if I die during this, I've got to start this bloody again. Yeah, there's my crit. Take that. Suck it, Squirtle. We're going to use the potion. We should be able to survive two more. There we go. Woo! Now, I will be using the fast-forward button quite a lot, just to get through all the crap, to be honest. Uh, now, I already know that my Pokemon is fully healed, but... I have slight OCD, so I'll need to check. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Right, now the way we're doing this, uh, we're only counting the Nuzlocke run from when we get Pokeballs. So, usually, you know, the first Pokemon you see, you have to catch. But we're not doing it like that. Now, Charmander learns Ember, I think, at level 9. So... Critted again. And that's the last bit of grass also. At uh, level nine. So we're gonna get him to level nine before we go into Viridian Forest so that we can pretty much sweep everything in there. That's the one good thing about Charmander. Viridian Forest is easy. Obviously anything past that point is an absolute ball ache, but never mind. Oh look, I said ball again. Oh dear. Don't that was stupid. Um, I do believe there's a little bit of... Yeah, there is. But I keep forgetting which button is the fast-forward button. Oh, wow. <laughs> Fight anything. Nice. And no one cares, no one cares, no one cares, no one cares. Yeah, 
Right. Okay, so anyone who's not played the first games, he's just said, screw you, I'm telling my sister not to give you a map. But you talk to her, and she gives it you anyway. Which is good. Uh, didn't find any Pokemon up there, did I? No. Come on, Klaus. Um, <laughs> haven't actually seen a Pokemon here yet. So my Nuzlocke run is completely fine. Oh, there we go. Pidgey. Oh, no. I did a fort of grass, didn't I? Oh, missed. Let's see how much damage you do. Klaus has the worst defense of all three of the starters, I do believe. It goes Squirtle, Bulbasaur, then Charmander. Charmander has decent speed, though. Which I think it goes Charmander, Squirtle, Bulbasaur for speed, and then obviously uh, attack. <coughs> Charmander's got the most attack. Bulbasaur has the best special, and Squirtle has sort of middling. What's level 2? If I die to it, I, I need my head examining. <laughs> right. So we're going to do the Poke Center, then what we're going to do, we're going to grab some Pokeballs. And uh, just before we do that, I will explain one little thing that will be in my videos and may possibly not be in Black Sagaris's eyes. Sag Sag Sagaris's? Sagaris's. Oh, bloody Jesus. Gases. Um, I, I've got this thing. I, I, I will ask a would you rather question. And, uh, we'll need antidotes. Uh, a would you rather question, and you'll answer it via the like button. So, if you'd rather the first thing, you click like. If you'd rather the second thing, you click dislike. And that's that's how we'll do it. Okay, but first, Nuzlocke Run. This Pokemon we catch here will be the Pokemon that we keep. Please don't be Rattata. It's a Rattata. Okay, right. Level 3 Rattata. It's okay. We can deal with that. Critical hit. Well, that's it's looking good for it. Uh, Pokeball, go. Yes, right. Rattata. We're going to call you... Gunter? No, I need a rat name. Ooh. Moose. Perfect. That is the absolute best name for a rat in the world. We're calling him Moose. Oh, you know what? I actually don't know how long I've been recording for. <laughs> Never mind. It's got to be about five minutes. Here's where I find out it's been like nine and in the comments it'll be No, it's nine minutes. But yeah, anyway, right, so here's the question. Would you rather be an egg? So I'm talking a chicken egg here. So you are born to a chicken. You never get born, you end up getting eaten. All right, so you, you spend your whole life, you come out of a bum of a chicken, you spend your whole life being rattled around and cleaned or whatever, and then you get eaten. Or would you rather spend your life as a toaster? You have a long life, but you have to spend your entire life making toast. So, there's your question. And we're hoping for a need around male. But, yes! Need around male! Nice! Level 2. I'm not going to attack it. Okay. Need around male. That's actually very, very good. Come on, come on. Yeah! Disease, sense danger, large its horns, more powerful, it's secreted venom. Yes, I do. We are going to call you. I reckon Charles. Yep, you were being, told, being called Charles. I have no idea why. I think I'm naming him after Charles Xavier. He doesn't have the best legs in the world, does he? Okay, right. Do, 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 do. Oh, that reminds me actually. Da, la, 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 la. And a couple of those little things. Right, so the first thing I want to get done at the end of this episode is uh, we'll train our Pokemon up. So we'll train Charmander first, get him up to level um, 9, 
so we can do Viridian Forest. Then, once we've done Viridian Forest... Haha, <laughs> well, that was a speed tie, Christ. I don't like these raptors, they've got so much attack. And obviously they're uh, they get stab on the tackle. Which is terrible. But they're incredibly powerful raptors. I'm I'm a bit annoyed that I've got one of them instead of a Pidgey, but to be fair, I think I'm aiming for a Spearow really. Oh god, level four. <coughs> these are the dangerous ones. Two crit gusts and I'm gone, I think. Oh no, never mind. Come on, Klaus. How many times are you going to get clit? Clit. <laughs> clit. <laughs> Crit. Oh, wonderful. The wunderbar, should I say. Why did I call it Klaus? There's level 8. One more level. I'm sorry about going back to the bug centre all the time. During a Nuzlocke run, there's not much... Oh, balls. There's not much hope for it, though. <coughs> oh, God. Why is that slowed down? Right, now, we're going to have a little bit of trouble with Brock because he resists our fire stab and uh, oh, I should have ran balls because his stab tackle is going to do three damage never mind uh, yeah because we're not going to have any Pokemon now uh, the only thing I can think to do is hopefully catch Butterfree which there's not a very high chance of because uh, if it's level 2, level 3, oh, we can deal with that. Um, yeah. We got, there's a 5% chance of catching a, a Caterpie or a Metapod. Whereas there's a 50% chance of catching a Weedle. And last time I did this, I caught a fucking Kakuna. A level 4. I raised it up to a level 16 Beedrill and ended up dying. <laughs> so that was fun. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 come on. There we go. Level 9, Ember. Okay, right. Switch out to Charles. Get Charles up. I thought so. Leer and Tackle. Go Klaus. Stab Ember. Stab Ember's doing quite a lot. God damn it. Need to heal him again. So, the, what I'm hoping for this episode is to get... Get them up to about level... 8 and 9 each. Well, we'll get... We'll Klaus up to level... Uh, Klaus up to level 10 or so. So we've got to be careful because... Uh, because of some things. But to be fair, it can kill most of the bug Pokemon in one hit with his stab embers but we want Charles to at least level 8 so that he doesn't die uh, I'll be completely honest Moose is going to die there's, there's no two ways about it Moose will not survive I never managed to keep a, a Ratster in a Nuzlocke run I switch too much uh, I'm just not careful enough with them and obviously they're very, very powerful, but they're definitely glass cannons. If you don't know that reference, uh, I actually can't help you because I don't know where it comes from. Now, uh, this might be a little boring to watch, but it's okay, because I've got a funny story. I don't, but I'll think of one. Uh, with a scratch. Yay. So how are you today? You good? That's good. Well, that was stupid, didn't mean to scratch, never mind. Class level 4, right. Once we get class up to level 5, we'll be able to take the things on, on his own, and then I won't need to use... Not Klaus, I keep saying Klaus, I mean Charles. I should have called him something that wasn't starting with a cuss sound. Or chuss sound, you know what I mean. Uh, actually, you know what, he can take this on his own. <laughs> That's this Pidgey gets a crit. Yeah, no, we're good. Right, get back into Klaus. No, uh, the first thing we have to do is face our rival, 
Senor El Gazo, who is just to the left of Viridian. Level 5, Klaus is level 10. That's good. See, that's inadvertent leveling for Klaus at the same time. I don't actually know what attacks he learns. I think he learns Horn Attack. Ah, good old Charles. I know I said that, but it's level 3 Pidgey, so I may as well just... Well, I can get levels for Klaus as well. That's just a decent thing to do. So, yeah. Uh, funny story. Not a funny story, but a story anyway. First time I got this game, I actually didn't own a Game Boy. Well, that was a completely wasted turn. Uh, yeah, didn't own a Game Boy. Uh, had to play it on... Was this weird sort of Nintendo 64 peripheral that let you play Pokemon game? Well, let you play all games from the Game Boy. Now, the reason it was weird is first of all, it didn't let you save. So I played the start of this game, this exact game, because I remember I had red, not blue. Um, must must have been like 40 times. I used to get to varying ranges of places before I'd obviously have to turn it off and do the next bit another day or whatever so my mum eventually bought me a Game Boy and it was a uh, you know the, the purple Game Boy colors yeah it was one of those but anyway uh, point is it didn't have the original tunes for everything it had this weird ass own tune thing I'm getting really worried that Charles is going to die. He's really not that bulky. Nidorino will be alright. Now, I, the reason I got so excited about catching the Nidoran male is because I thought you get double kick. But of course, that doesn't happen until Pokemon Yellow. Horn attack, yeah, I thought so. Horn attack's more powerful. But it's a normal attack still, so... Obviously, the reason they put in the double kick in this in Pokemon Yellow was because if you start off with Pikachu there is absolutely nothing you can do unless you catch uh, Caterpie and I think one of the games you could catch Caterpie not one of the games what we're talking about I think it was a bit of a ball like to catch Caterpie but Charles is level 9 I might just get him one more level have him at level 10 so that because uh, when we face the guy, his Pidgey's at level 8, so it has already actually got Sand Attack. Which is going to be an absolute pain in the ass. Uh, I had to, uh, the Pokemon that I lost all of my Pokemon to in my other Nuzlocke run was his Pidgeotto at level uh, 18. And it just Sand Attacked everything so that I couldn't do anything. Yeah, Horn Attack, level 10 Horn Attack. I think the best chance I'm going to have of defeating him is with Charles. If I just get Charles up a few levels to the point, or uh, even, you know, if I get the Rattata Moose up. Why did I call it Moose? Oh, I know what that is. Gaz will know the reference as well. That's our friend Sean. Uh, he's been in one of our Tricoms, actually. He's the hobo. So if you've watched any of our Tricoms on Call of Duty... That's that's who I'm talking about. He's the hobo. But he says moose a lot. And that's that's where I've got it from. It might actually have been me that started that. I don't, really don't know. I'm an incredibly strange person. If you meet me. And uh, I'm sure I'll get a comment on this now saying yes, yes John, you are incredibly bloody strange. Probably from somebody I've never met before. It's just that well known that I am a complete bloody weirdo. Well, there, here's a point, actually. Sorry. <coughs> I won't edit that out. Um, I went to town today, and I bought uh, a few things for the kids, because I am a dad. And uh, one of those things was like a, a snuggle buddy. It's this weird pillow that you can fold up into like a... a, a a fuzzy toy thing. It's, it's a load of crap, never mind. But in the same shop, I found 
a box with uh, something called power paws and mask. And what it is, it's a tiger's like a tiger mask with tiger claws. So have you ever seen the uh, Incredible Hulk Hulk smash hand things? Big green things made out of uh, foam. Well, they like those, but they're really furry. And uh, yeah, I'd like to say I bought them for the kids, but I didn't. I bought them for me. <laughs> I've been playing with them. Where one of the paws, it turns out, growls at you if you press a button, which is pretty hilarious. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway. Um, thank God for the fast forward button, eh? If it weren't for that, what else fun today? Oh yeah, I went to this place called Jelly Tots. Very uh, a sort of wacky warehouse. Have you ever seen a wacky warehouse? And obviously, for my American, my American, our American subscribers, you might not have heard of it. It's like a, a giant play warehouse for kids with a really crappy cafe stuffed onto the side for parents to make it seem as though it's a good idea for the parents to be there as well. I think mainly it's just so that, you know, they don't have to say that they look after the kids themselves and save themselves a bit of money on the... I think they need a license for that. They need a license to handle kids, definitely. Um, what am I saying? Yeah, when they're today, absolutely horrible. I had a... Uh, cooked breakfast but the sausages that they gave me were the kind of sausages you get from a kebab shop so fucking greasy chewy things horrible but yeah that's that was that was what I did today I also bought Battlefield 3 because I've been playing Modern Warfare 3 now Modern Warfare 3 you, you probably haven't seen anything on our channel from it in a while the reason for that is uh, it's been broken it's been very broken, and none of us have wanted to play it. It's, it's that simple. Not a single one of us wanted to play it. Oh, no, I say not a single. I have, but can't really play it on my own. Um, <laughs> mainly because it's uh, I bought the game. I buy. I play all the games on the Xbox with others because that's why I do it. I don't. I don't really play it for the games. That's why I'm not particularly good, I guess. But yeah, so. Uh, Level 7, nice, quick attack. Not actually more powerful. It might be a little bit more powerful, actually. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it is. It's a little bit more. Um, yeah. So, we've moaned about it. Now, they've actually fixed it for the most part. The lag the lag is more akin to what Modern Warfare 2 was. You know, sometimes you'd have good, sometimes you'd have bad. But, and sometimes you'd have fantastic. And that's happened to me on Modern Warfare 3 a couple of times now. Did fantastic with the PKP pe Pechenegg. Pechenegg? I don't know how you pronounce that. But yeah, that's gone pretty well. Level 4, Christ. Let's heal you, Moose, because you have no defense, and if you die, I'm going to be incredibly annoyed. Pidgey can pretty much be considered a normal type at this point because it doesn't have flying attacks. But then again, we don't have a problem anyway. Now, I've been thinking about it. Obviously, Charizard, being a fire and flying type, you really, really don't need a flying type yourself. And even if you did, fire types have the same strengths as flying types. So, it's kind of pointless getting a flying type if you've already got a fire type. So we've got Charizard, we won't be getting another flying type, there's no point. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, Battlefield 3. Now, I've got... I bought Battlefield 3 because I really, really enjoyed Battlefield 3. But everybody, again, all bloody moaned about it. Oh, it's got these problems and these problems and there's not many people on it. And, ah, oh, it just annoyed me. So, now, Modern Warfare 3 has annoyed everyone. Now, although Modern Warfare 3 is fixed now... It's got such bad rep that nobody wants to play it anyway. And the second it goes bad, people go, no, it can't be bothered. So, yeah. Which is kind of what happened with uh, Reach for me. Because it was good, but I was the only one who liked it. And then when I went, oh, fuck it, then I won't bother. Everyone started liking it again. And by that time, I was like, no, nah, no, nah, not doing it. Um, no, I knew it. Quick Attack's got the same power. It's not doing any more damage at all. <coughs> Get them all up to level 10. I'm probably going to lose Moose in this first battle. Uh, I'm pretty sure his Pokemon will have Bubble. So I'm going to need... Uh, 
I'm going to need... I see this is the real tr trouble now because Charles, I usually call my Nidorans Stamp and then when they evolve I call them Stomp and then when they evolve into Nidoking I call them Stump. I don't know why, I just always have. And uh, now because I've called him Charles, because you're not allowed to change their name, I uh, I keep thinking to call it bloody Stamp. So if, if I call it Stamp, you know why. I actually mean Charles. Okay. No, I didn't take any damage, but if it comes down to a stall war or something, then that one quick attack was the reason I lost. I'll be incredibly annoyed. So how many potions we got? We should have two. Yeah, two potions. Okay, let's save here, because we haven't saved yet. I love that it actually shows it taking time in the game, but because you can fast forward, it doesn't take any time. Yay, take that! Nice one, Moose. Right, go on, Charles. Level 8, you should be able to take take him out with a few horn attacks. Look at that, dual crits. Lovely, lovely friggin' jubbly. Okay. Do, do, do. Now, the first time I did the Nuzlocke run for this, I completely forgot about that battle. So that's free experience. Because we did really bloody well then. Thank God for the fast forward button, eh? Okay, so I won't fast forward through anything that's, you know, important. Oh, you know what? We've used two Pokeballs. Let's grab a couple more. Cause you never know when you're going to need some. Right. So yeah, I bought Battlefield 3 today because it's it works now, and I, I love that bloody game. Uh, yeah. Anyway, Pokemon. Pokemon. I played fo Pokemon, like I say, in the first generation. That was... Hang on, let's take a drink. That was the first uh, first time I played a Pokemon game. I know these guys have got nothing to say. And, uh, yeah, so it was all good. Right, now we have a chance at Pikachu in here. That would be fantastic. I know I'm going to end up with Weedle, but Pikachu, yeah, that would be good. Pokeball. Oh crap, yeah, that was a waste of money. I know there's something down here as well. Oh, no there isn't. Weedle. Well, at least it's a Weedle. And not a... something else. Oh crap, all of my Pokemon are dead high level. Well, Moose will definitely take it out in one hit with a Tackle. A level 4 Weedle, for Christ's sake. Oh no, nice. It survived. I'm going to get poisoned. Oh, no. Well, my predictions are well off today. Okay, what are we going to call you? <coughs> now, its predecessors were called Ball Ache because it was a Kakuna, and Vitae because it was something I caught. Uh, yeah, anyway. We're going to call you... We're going to call you Popo. After Master Popo, Mr. Popo, Mr. Popo, Master Popo, from uh, Dragon Ball Z. If you don't get that reference, well, go watch Dragon Ball Z, because it's good. Now, yeah, what was I talking about? Pokemon, yeah. I've been playing since the first generation, so none of this jumping on the bandwagon crap. Uh, I, in fact, watched the series when it first came out in Britain. Before anything else, I just happened to stumble across it on the first episode. I watched it all summer. I was year five in school, something like that. So, yeah. I actually think Charles is more powerful than Klaus now. Uh, Charles 35. Klaus is 33. <laughs> yeah, he is. Nice. Uh, level 11, both of them. Dead experience, really. Ch chaining Popo, but... It needs to be done. It does need to be done, because... Uh, Beedrill is really our only way of beating Psychic-types. I know he's weak, but Beedrill's fast. 
So, a couple of twin needles from a good five or six levels higher than the Kadabras and everything. That was stupid. Could have died then. <coughs> but yeah, that's what I'm doing anyway. I'm raising him up simply for that. But I might... Oh, what am I doing? Of course. All the Pokemon in there are weak to poison. And I don't think... Actually, what typing has Charles got? Poison. Just pure out poison. 21 attack. It's got 18... 19 special. So his special is actually better. 19 speed. Moose... 19 attack, 23 speed, so... And Popo, 8. 10 speed. So yeah, that's the. this is the plan at the moment. What we'll do, we'll go up into the forest, we'll do some trainer battles. Uh, did I pick up some antidotes? Yes. Do some trainer battles, get Popo up decent level, and we'll try and get through this pretty fast and then we'll count that and end before we face Brock because I really don't know how I'm gonna beat Brock uh, go Charles gotta be particularly careful because obviously he's got ground type attacks uh, Catsby's only got tackle not really scared of that Okay, Weedle. Let's up out to Charles because not very effective. Okay, Kakuna. Yes, go Popo. Uh, battle of Attrition. Why is it not getting poisoned? Come on, look at the amount of poison stings here. No poisoned, not poisoned, not poisoned, not poisoned, not poisoned. I got a crit though. Sorry, about that music's probably bloody horrible. Uh, now, I'm gonna go back for PP's sake. We're gonna end this soon because Gaz is not going to be happy with the fact that it's probably going to be about 40 minutes long this video because I've not been watching the time oh dear <coughs> Gaz wants the epi episode to be at 15 minutes because his computer is shit but I want them to be at 30 to 40 minutes because I want to play them for that long and I'm not splitting these episodes up and messing about in that way probably missing loads I mean it's shouted out by you guys because I've I've missed something or oh my god die Kakuna obviously I could go through this easily with Charmander but Papa needs experience she's the lowest level I doubt we'll use him at all in the gym, but I don't want him dying at later levels. <coughs> right, Popo level 8, Charles level 12. Right, the only thing I can think of doing is raising raising Klaus up to level 16 to evolve into a Charmian, 16 or 17 or 18, something like that. And then sweeping him with fire attacks. Because Moose isn't going to be helped, Klaus isn't going to be helped, Charles isn't going to be helped, Popo's not going to be helped. I, I don't know. I'll decide what to do in the next episode. I'm going to call that a day and uh, we stood next to this side. So, thank you and goodbye.